Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalane's Creativity Room. It is Saturday, June 8th. What's going on today? Um, okay, let's see. Birthdays. June 8th. No, no birthdays. No birthdays. Um, I do need to mark off what I paid. Um, I paid that. I paid that. And I paid that. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so let's get started. Right now it is 66, feels like 66, supposed to be a high of 69 and a low of 53 tonight. Cloudy, slight chance of a rain shower, winds west at 15 to 25 miles per hour, humidity 53%. Sunset, 849 p.m. And yeah, it's chilly out, but I opened up all the windows because I don't need the air conditioner on today. We can have some fresh air in the house. Yes, fresh air. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Um, let's find National Day. It is Best Friends Day. So all of my besties out there, it's our day today. Today is a wisdom quote. Friendship is the highest degree of perfection in society by Mitchell D. Montiagne. And today's word of the day, word, word, word of the day, word, 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 word of the day. And today's word is clarity, 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 C-L-E-R-I-S-Y, clarity. It's a noun, a distinct class of learned or literary people. Okay. I have a whole bunch of one, two, four from a friend. Okay, so how'd you, how'd we all do yesterday? Yesterday was Friday. Let's see. I stitched on, I got in the 51 stitches on the Haid stocking that I had to do. Because I had to put in what? 42 to have the 200. <coughs> and then I stitched on Hey the Butterflies Galore. Butterflies Galore. By Jasmine Beckett Griffith and I put in 482 stitches and I can tell you how many I have left to do because I don't have a lot it's it's almost done so I have 1439 stitches left so are you ready to see it yes we it Almost done. Almost done. <clears throat> this year will be a, the finish of Hades. Okay, so that counted for my daily 30 for Friday. It also was the color of the rainbows in one pattern, and that was for I Spy. 
And then the G for butterflies galore or Jasmine Beckett Griffith from pop culture. Um, I finished the audiobook Swallow Me Whole. by Gemma James. And I gave it four stars. I liked it. I did. It's it's very spicy though, just letting you know it's a smutty book. I listened to it on Audible. I'm gonna write Audible. But yeah, that was really good. So I can tell you a little bit about it in a little bit. I watched General Hospital from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I watched Grey's Anatomy. From May 23rd, and I watched Station 19. from May 23rd so I just need to watch the season finale of Grey's Anatomy and the series finale of Station 19 and I need to watch yesterday's General Hospital then I let's see need that I was in a zoom for a little bit And then I read for like two hours last night. So I started Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. So there is that. Let me tell you about the books. So Swallow Me Whole <clears throat> It says that it's a romance, contemporary romance. BDSM, erotica, new adult, and adult. Sadie Sawyer wants to learn how to blow a guy. She's my sister's best friend. The girl I've known since grade school. The girl I've always considered off limits. She's the girl that crawled under a table in a bar one night and changed everything between us. Now the brain in my pants is more than willing to step up. The rules are simple. No kissing, no screwing, no falling in love. But the more I let her use my body in the name of experimentation, the more I know being friends isn't enough. Is it too much to want it all with her? The taste of her lips, the sweetness of her innocence, the chance to earn her love. I might have a real shot with her if her douchebag ex and my past don't ruin everything. Swallow Me Whole is a friends to lovers standalone romance. Yeah, I gave it four stars. It was well written. Um, <clears throat> see if Sadie and I always forget his name. Anyways, she stayed in Jake. And at the beginning of the book, she talks about she's like 24. She's still a virgin. <clears throat> and she decides to go surprise him on his birthday to give away her virginity. So he calls and says he's working late, so she picks up this picnic basket of food and she's going to go surprise him. Only the surprise is his assistant down on her knees in front of him. Yeah. So, of course, they break it off, but her father doesn't care that he cheated on her. He thinks she needs to suck it up. Her father's an asshole. She ends up disowning him, just to let you know. So... <clears throat> She's 
she goes to the bar and she's crying. Her best friend's there with her brother and her best friend gets up to go get something to drink at the bar and Sadie goes under the table and gives the brother a blowjob. Yeah, and she doesn't know what she's doing. So then she tells him that she is experimenting and she doesn't want any kissing, no intercourse, no falling in love. Well, we find out that he's had feelings for her since high school and she's had feelings for him. So you know that they're just going to get stronger. It was really, really good. I liked it a lot. So that was, I'll have that in the description below. And then last night I started Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. And that comes out, it's an arc. That comes out on the 11th and that's by Berkeley. I do have to write a book review for a book that came out today. Okay, so Not in Love, it's good, the storyline's good, but it's losing me a little bit. So this is a contemporary romance, chick lit, um, it doesn't say there's spice or anything like that, so probably not. The description is a forbidden secret affair proves that's all fair all, that all's fair in love and science. Rue Siebert might not have it all, but she has enough. A few friends she can always count on, the financial stability she yearned for as a kid, and a successful career as a biotech engineer at Klein, one of the most promising startups in the field of food science. Her world is stable, pleasant, and hard fought until a hostile takeover and its offensively attractive front man threatens to bring it all crumbling down. Eli Kilgore and his business partner, partners want Klein, period. Eli has his own reasons for pushing this deal through and he's a man who gets what he wants, with one burning exception. Rue, the woman he can't stop thinking about. The woman who's off limits to him. Torn between loyalty and an undeniable attraction, Rue and Eli throw caution out the lab and the boardroom windows. Their affair is secret, no strings attached, and has a built-in deadline. The day one of their companies will prevail, but the heart is risky business, one that plays for keeps. So we'll see if it gets any spicy, but it doesn't say erotic or anything. So far, it's good. It'll lose me once in a while when they talk about the biotech stuff and science stuff because that was like my worst subject in high school was science. So, um, yeah, it, it kind of loses me a little bit when they start talking a little bit about that. It's not, it's not a lot. It's just a little. So, anyways, Rue goes to this bar because she's on an app on her phone. And the app is you hook up with other people. And it's just sex. That's all she wants is just sex. So, when she gets there, there's a guy bothering her. And it looks like he's hitting on her and not taking no for an answer. So, Eli jumps in and gets rid of the dude. But we, but she told them it's her brother. There's a long history between her and her brother. I'm sure we're going to get more into it as the book goes. Like I said, I only read it for like an hour and a half to two hours. So you do know that there's a history between her and her brother, and it has to do with a cabin when her mom died. So um, he'll probably, that's the only time so far we've seen him in the book. And so the next day she goes into work, and Eli is there with a bunch of other people from this financial company that supposedly they had bought the loan from the loan company that worked with her job. So something's going on. We haven't found out exactly what yet. And um, supposedly by that, it says they're, they're doing a takeover. So we'll see, but it seems really good so far. She is a um, very popular 
author on TikTok. I see her books all over on TikTok, so this is the first time I'm reading it. I believe it does take place in the United States, and I can't remember if it was Texas, but it does take place in the United States. Um, what else? I think that's it. So today is stitching on butterflies galore and watching TV. So I'm going to watch yesterday's General Hospital. I need to watch the season finale of Grey's Anatomy and the series finale of Station 19. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to watch the last three episodes of Walker or if I'm going to pick up Vikings. I probably will watch Vikings because I really want to get that series done. So, um, yeah, I need to do that. Also, a long time ago, I read the book Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I, it seems like I really, really liked it. Let's see if that's on Goodreads, if I put it on Goodreads. Dark Matter. Okay. I gave it four stars. So, anyways. It's on Apple Plus TV as a series. So, I'm thinking about watching it. But I may just put it up on, uh, in my, maybe I'll just put that in my wheel app. Where's my spin the wheel? Um, doo -doo -doo. Binge TV series. Add. Dark Matters, Dark Matter, save. So when I get done with the Vikings, I got to spin the wheel to see what I'm watching next. It could be a show I've never watched before that's a newer show. It could be a show from the 70s or 80s that I never watched. Or it might be something I watched, but I didn't watch it all. So I keep adding things to it. There's a, a couple hundred probably TV shows on it. But yeah, Dark Matter by Blake Prep Crouch. It's now a TV series on Apple+. Plus. So, and tonight I'll read Not in Love again because I try to read every night. Um, next week, I do have two books I want to get to. One I have to that comes out on the 11th, and the other one comes out on the 13th. I have blog tours for them, so I do have to read those, um, I'll, and I'll start that when I finish the one I'm reading now. But that is it for today. Um, I got a vacuum. I do need to vacuum today. That I do need to do. And Thursday in the mail, I got this, the Unstitcher. Brian ordered this for me, so um, it's good when you have to pull out stitches when you frog. I do have one It's really long that Tammy gave me. And I do use that one a lot, but this is smaller. This I might like this one too. But the I do have one, but this the tip of this needle is not as big as the one that I have from Tammy. So um, yeah, so I gotta take that in. I kept meaning I kept meaning to show this guys to you, so I gotta take that back in there and I got to pay some bills and then I'm going to get busy for the day. It's going on 11:30. I slept till 10 o'clock. Um, I also want to start Beauty and the Beast this month 
because Sunflower Stitches has something going on in the Facebook group. So, um, yeah, must be this one. This is the big one. Quarter yard, eighth of a yard, and eighth of a yard. So, yeah, I need this just to put in a few stitches on it this month. I'm going to take that in there. And I do have to print up that. So that is it for today. I will see you guys Monday. Maybe Monday. I have an eye appointment at 11 a.m. So by the time I get up and get ready and out the door, I may not have a morning video on Monday. Um, depends on what time I get up. But I will see you in a couple days anyways. Love you guys. Bye.